Welcome to Sheet Leveler. My name is Joanne, and I'm here to help you learn to use Excel efficiently and straightforwardly. Today, I'll be guiding you through how to remove page breaks in Excel, whether it be horizontal, vertical, or both. So let's get started. To view page breaks in Excel, switch to Page Break Preview Mode. This will allow you to see where the page breaks are and make any necessary adjustments. To view your document in a page break preview, go to the View tab and select Page Break Preview. By following this method, we will be able to view all the page breaks which are present in the current document. It is essential to keep in mind this important factor. Page breaks are lines that are inserted into a document to indicate where one page ends and another page begins. These lines are usually blue and dotted. The page layout of your document is determined by the general settings, such as paper size, margins, page orientation, and any other related settings. Page breaks in the document have been inserted manually by drawing blue solid lines. First, let's examine how to delete page breaks that have been manually inserted. Afterward, we will explore how to manage page breaks that have been added automatically. In order to delete a horizontal page break that has been added manually, we need to click on the cell directly underneath it. Navigate to the Page Layout tab, then click on Breaks and select Remove Page Break. Now, the page break is no longer present. If you want to get rid of a vertical page break that you have manually inserted, you can easily do so. This time, we need to click on a cell that is located to the right of the page break line. You are already familiar with the rest of the process. Open the Page Layout tab and select Breaks. Then, click on Remove Page Break and you're all done. The page break that was manually added has vanished. Let's continue and say we would like to now get rid of the dotted line, which is a page break that was automatically inserted we can delete it. Unfortunately, it is not possible to do that due to the requirement that each large document should have page breaks. However, we can adjust the page breaks that are automatically placed in our document, allowing us to position them exactly where we want. So for example, when we click this horizontal page break, our cursor will change into a double-headed arrow. We can adjust the page break to any position we desire by either moving it up or down. When the dotted line is moved, it becomes a solid line. This means that the page break is now a manually inserted one, instead of the automatic break that it was before. Finally, I'd like to demonstrate a helpful tip before we finish. To quickly remove all manually inserted page breaks, go to the Page Layout tab, select Breaks, and then choose Reset All Page Breaks. We have taken away all of the page breaks that were added manually. To change your view to the normal setting, go to the View tab and select the Normal option. If you would like to understand how to configure the print area in Microsoft Excel, we recommend watching the video tutorial from Sheet Leveler. The link to access the tutorial can be found in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, give my video a like. If this is your first time here, Hit that subscribe button and join our online community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.